How's it going everybody? Clint here with Classic Firearms coming at y'all today with a, another top five video and today's video is about the top five 300 blackout firearms and we're kicking it off with the SIG Rattler. This is a newer firearm to the market, chambered in 300 blackout and something that you're going to see not too common among 300 blackout firearms is the fact that they're not that piston driven isn't like a thing because I like piston driven guns, especially in a little short guy like the Sig Rattler here. All right. Now this guy here, you're going to notice right off the bat is a tiny little guy, but it's not that light uh, without even the attachments and everything that I've got on this one here. It's still coming in at about six pounds or so unloaded. And once you start adding all of your Gucci gear and wait, where is it? There it is. And suppressors, then all of a sudden, yeah, you start getting into the ballpark of like heavier. All right. But if you are looking for something really cool, really compact, really quiet, this is where it's at. And speaking of quiet, that was pretty much the whole premise of 300 Blackout. It used to be called 300 Whisper, uh, but it since, you know, went some different variations, changes, you know, uh, through manufacturing and things like that. Ultimately, 300 Blackout is what has been pretty much what it's known as now. And it's an awesome caliber. And like I said, its whole purpose and its design was to be you know, silenced and shoot suppressed, be quiet. All right. So a lot of people I know will say, you know, why would I get 300 blackout? It's more expensive, not as available as like 762 by 39. And that's just because 300 blackout is designed to be suppressed shooting through AR style platforms. 762 by 39, not as much. So there you go. However, 762 by 39 is phenomenal. And this really isn't a comparison between those two cartridges because it's apples and oranges really. But uh, ultimately 300 blackout is an awesome, awesome caliber. I know, I know, I know you guys are already down in the comment section. It'd be really awesome if I actually could find it anywhere and shoot it. You know, well, yeah, I hear you, man, but we're, we're trying, okay? There is some stuff trickling in every now and then that we're able to get a hold of. So if you're still on that struggle bus looking for ammo, make sure you are signing up for our text alerts to be notified as soon as that ammo drop hits. Like I said, we have been receiving a steady supply. Wish it was more, I know, but hey, it is what it is. So make sure you're texting the word video to the number that you see at the bottom of your screen or just take a photo of this QR code that you see over here. That'll prompt you to get set up for our text alerts. Don't miss out. Now, continuing on with the SIG Rattler, what I do like that SIG has done with this guy is the fact that they did make it piston driven with an adjustable gas block. So if you are shooting suppressed, unsuppressed, supersonic, subsonics, whatever you wanna run through this guy, it is going to run, which is awesome. And like I said, I've just added, you know, the hand stop up here by Magpul, uh, one of the Surefire lights and also the 300 blackout dedicated EOTech because, well, why the heck not? And I'm running it just to see how I like it. And I'm liking it so far. Also changed out the brace on this guy. It's the SB Tactical PDW brace made for the Rattler. So again, big fan of the 300 blackout cartridge, especially through this platform. Also too, 300 black belt blackout shares a lot of components to what 556 does. Pretty much the same case size other than the actual projectile differing in diameter, obviously. Uh, but you can also share magazines. You can share bolt carrier groups. Pretty much the only thing you have to switch out is your barrel. Pretty cool. So anyway, number one on the list so far is the SIG Rattler. Let's go ahead and talk about something a whole lot lighter than this guy. Next up is the Nemo Battle Light. This guy has been featured in quite a few videos that we've had so far now. And one of those videos was the one that's broken like over 2.5 million views on Facebook. So thank you guys. And it was just pretty much about, you know, shooting suppressed and things like that, because why the heck not? But anyway, the Nemo Battle Light is just that. It's coming in at right around four pounds. So that is pretty impressive. And everything they've done with this guy is to pretty much minimize weight. We uh, switched out the CAC brace that it originally came with to one of SBA3 here. And also another EOTech up talk because obviously I like EOTechs, they're holographic, they're fantastic sights, all right? Now the rail system on this guy is pretty interesting as well. You've got M-Lock on the sides and on the bottom and then a Picatinny right up top. So there's your bottom side rails, perfect, or M-Lock, excuse me. And then they also include the one little Picatinny section here. You can actually remove this, put it wherever you want. So yeah, there you go. But really neat firearm. Like I said, they are keeping it lightweight everywhere they possibly can, including in the Radiant Raptor, which is a nice charging handle. 
and overall just a great firearm. Like I said, I've had plenty of times shot this suppressed and unsuppressed and it is sweet. Also what I like what they've done with the rail is they have allowed the rail to actually run the full length of the barrel and some more. So without the muzzle device, the barrel is actually ending uh, right about here. So if you do remove the muzzle device, uh, make sure that you um, put on a silencer or something like that, or else you're just not gonna have a good day. All right, let me just leave it at that. But anyway, again, really neat firearm coming from Nemo, and we've done we've done a few giveaways with Nemo. We gave away the Nemo Omen with Donut Operator and Premier Body Armor, so go check that video out. We had a pretty good time uh, shooting with, with those guys for sure. Also too, for the price tag, which it is pricey on this guy, but then again, the quality on it, the build, the looks and everything is pretty sweet. But what you're also getting with it is a phenomenal trigger. Let me show you the trigger on this guy and we can go back to the Rattler to show you the trigger on him too. Cause it's nice, but you know, nice, nice, thin, flat face trigger applying a little bit of pressure. You see, we have just a hair of travel before we hit an obvious wall. And then that's that. Wow. That is light, and then the reset, phenomenal trigger. So good job, Nemo, on that guy. Let me actually, because I forgot to do that on the SIG here, let me go ahead and just show you guys what we're at as far as the trigger here. Little bit of travel similar to the Nemo, then it drops, and the reset. It's a great trigger, feels very good, very smooth. That trigger's better. <laughs> Just throwing it out there, all right? So phenomenal gun coming from Nemo. Next up is one that unfortunately we don't have in-house, but we did at one point, but we gave it away, so you're welcome. But it's the Daniel Defense M4 PDW, chambered in 300 blackout. And when I first saw this at SHOT Show 2020, I fell in love with it. Josh at the booth there, he, he knew a lot about it because, well, he's kind of like one of the guys that designed the things. This is, a, this is a good example of what's coming from the factory, obviously without the optic. Um, and the magazine will actually be a, a Magpul specific 300 blackout. But um, this, is, this is the pistol, obviously 300 black, seven inch barrel, one and seven twist, chrome foss, target crown, uh, pistol gas. It's got a linear comp on it. Uh, it's got an SLR finger stop on it. And it's either got a Maxim Gen 6 uh, CQB PDW brace, or it's going to have a Gen 7 stock. And we have one of those over there that you'll see in a second. Nice. So what all pretty much went into the design behind this and everything? I mean, obviously, it's your M4 just compact. Is, is that what's happening? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I wanted a backpack gun. Yeah. I wanted a 30 cal. And yeah. I figured the only way that was going to happen is if I made it. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, that's awesome. Tell me a little bit about this comp right up here up front. I guess I could say maybe not, maybe more so of a blast deflector, it looks yeah. like. Well, Blast effector, linear comp, yeah. forward push, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's it's really simple in design. It's cone on the front, and it basically it just pushes everything forward. Yeah. And it's it's in a barrel this short too, especially running supersonics. Right. Sometimes you actually do get unspent powder that comes out the front of the barrel, and what that's doing is actually help pushing that away from the shooter, so you don't get fragged. Yep. Yeah. So take a look at it, guys. That is the Daniel Defense DDM4 PDW chambered in 300 blackout with their Wave suppressor. Can you tell me a little bit about that suppressor too? Yeah, it's our QD model. Um, it's actually 3D printed, uh, the whole front, the whole baffle sack's 3D printed. Titanium lock collar, um, total weight's probably about 17 ounces. Oh, Bomb proof, covered by our lifetime warranty. He did a great job going into detail about this firearm with the linear compensator that it has on it, seven and a half inch barrel, cold hammer forged, of course, coming from Daniel, obviously. Just phenomenal and when we gave one away we actually did an entire warehouse tour so big shout out to frank if you're watching you're the man sorry i didn't choose daniel defense as my number one ar-15 but hey just throwing it out there anyway no frank you're the man and he gave us a great warehouse tour so if you'd actually like to see the inner workings of daniel defense make sure you check out that video when we actually gave away the pdw m4 it is one that i enjoyed shooting a lot enjoyed shooting silenced a lot and it's one that maybe i'll add to the collection one day soon you know if i can get one frank talking to you but hey that's all right so anyway beautiful rifle well, if you have the SBR configuration, but it does come in a pistol configuration, of course, with the Maxim Defense CQB brace, which is also the same one that we've got 
on the Maxim Defense PDX, right? So very similar guns, kind of, but having personally walked through the Daniel Defense warehouse and see it, it, it and see it being built, and the team that is, uh, let's just say they're very careful and they, <laughs> they're paying attention to what they're doing, it's just neat to see this thing come alive and then actually shoot it, so pretty cool stuff. I am definitely a fan of the PDW M4 as, and Daniel Defense as a brand, as most of you already know, so this one was definitely making it to the list. Next up is another crazy one that unfortunately I don't have any trigger time with or have one in the warehouse, but it is so sweet and having shot plenty of PWSs that are similar, I'm pretty happy to add this one to the list. It is the PWS Mark 109, and this is a 300 blackout piston-driven system again, but unlike the Sig Rattler, which is a short-stroke piston system, this actually has a long-stroke piston system in it, which is very similar to the AK system. Well, it's not similar. It is. So, anyway, really neat, and what I like that that PWS has done here is they added a nine and three quarter inch barrel on it. The 300 blackout cartridge, it pretty much gets that full burn, all full paddle burn at that length. So they're getting the max effectiveness for that cartridge at that barrel length with the three position adjustable gas block. So yeah, it seems kind of to me like this is the one where they just checked all the boxes, hit a home run, hey, what's the what, what do we need to get the maximum effectiveness out of the cartridge if we're shooting subsonic or supersonic? Is it gonna feed subsonic or supersonic while being suppressed, adjustable gas block? And it's a long stroke piston driven system that you find in AKs, so. Yeah, PWS just obviously knows what they're doing. The Mark 111 is the one that I have some experience with and it's chambered in 5.56, very similar guns. And that, again, that three position adjustable gas block is great. Position one gives you the most gas. It just will run and eat anything. Position two is gonna be a little bit softer shooting because it's releasing more gases. And then position three is gonna be great for silencing because it's not releasing nearly, or it's releasing pretty much all the gas. So you need that, you need the suppressor on there so that way you get a little bit more back pressure because without it, it's probably not gonna cycle. But you know, hey, that's what you got the other positions for. So anyway, really neat system that PWS has going on with the 300 Blackout and they offer it in the Mod 1 and the Mod 2. The Mod 1 being the little bit more affordable option. The Mod 2 has the ambi lower, all the cool cuts, all that kind of stuff, right? So all that jazz. But anyway, PWS definitely needed to shout out the Mark 109 because the thing is sweet. Now I just need to go find one and shoot it. So Before we get to our last one on the list, I want to go ahead and throw in an honorable mention out there for one that we do have, and it's by a brand that I like quite a bit. This is the Wilson Combat Protector, chambered in 300 blackout with an 11 and a half inch barrel, which I find to be kind of interesting because like I said before, you get that full potential of the cartridge at about nine to 10 inches of barrel length. The, the extra inch and a half, I, I don't know. Um, maybe some people prefer that. I'm actually curious to hear from you guys down in the comments section. What do you think? Me personally, um, I don't care if my 300 blackout is any any longer than 10 inches. I actually don't really care for that. Uh, so like a 300 blackout rifle for me in 16 inches just doesn't do it for me because it's not really necessary for that cartridge. But then again, neither is seven and a half inches on a 5.56, but yet people do it, so. Here we are. Anyway, Wilson Combat makes high quality stuff. Uh, I first, you know, got in, well, I guess the first thing that I ever had of a Wilson Combat, you know, product was a 1911 mag and they always fed well. And after having some experience with the rifles that have come in and pistols, obviously, and also some of their actual Wilson Combat handguns that are out there, they make great stuff. So I'm happy that we've got one of these in house here. I'm excited to take it to the range, run it, see how it does. And it is a direct impingement system. All right, now, Let's get to the last one over here and, well, you guys guessed it, it's our giveaway, obviously. It is the Maxim Defense PDX and yeah, obviously this one is chambered in 300 blackout or it would not be on the list, duh. But they do make this same, the same firearm in uh, 5.56 and 7.62x39 and we've given away like all of them. And the 300 blackout is definitely my favorite because, again, 
the barrel length for the cartridge. So we're five and a half inch barrel length on it. You still got some of those unburnt powders that are escaping out the front end. And when talking with Josh at a SHOT Show with Daniel Defense, he said, you know, you still have these unburnt powders that are escaping. So having a blast effector like the linear compensator on the M4 PDW is great for the shooter because, well, it's protecting you. So Maxim Defense has a similar design with their hate brake right up front here, where it's deflecting all of that gas, concussion, everything downrange away from the shooter. And it also makes it a pleasant shooting experience, right? Recoil and pulse on this guy feels great. And again, the same same type of brace that the Daniel Defense has too is the Maxim Defense CQB brace. And it is an awesome firearm. I really like it a lot. I do like the Ambi mag release that's on it as well. So left-handers, you know, rejoice. But anyway, really neat gun, and I'm happy that we are offering it as our current giveaway. If you wanna see this guy in some very recent action, make sure you check out our video announcing this as our giveaway. My buddy Daniel let me borrow his truck, and thankfully I didn't put any holes in it, nor do I plan to in the future. Just throwing that out there, plan to. Hopefully you got good insurance, but anyway, we had a lot of fun doing a little bit of off-roading, a whole lot of shooting, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as well. And I'd be curious, you can let me know here and of course on the, on the uh, giveaway video, uh, what do you think about an outside the warehouse video where we maybe even do a little bit of overlanding and have some fun or something? I don't know. What, what, do you, what kind of content do you want to see over there? We are using that as kind of like our backup channel in case YouTube decides to, you know, this one. So not a whole lot of gun content is gonna be going over there. It's mainly just me and Alec doing stupid stuff or Matt trying to be a chubby bunny. I don't know. So just, again, let me know. So with that being said, you can get your entries in on this little PDX right here at classicfirearms.com. And don't forget, we're also teaming up with Gray Man Tactical and uh, they're giving away with this this setup that you see right here, which is super freaking cool. This is their RMP system, the Rigged Molly panel, and it is, uh, it's, it's awesome. So it allows you to lock your firearm up without any issues whatsoever. Sits right in the, right, the brace will sit right in here, or if you do have a rifle you wanna throw in here, that's fine. And your stock can sit right in that butt plate. This locks in and then you're all set. Of course, I have the keys in there right now, so you know, don't worry about it. But anyway, we're also going throwing in the G-Code holsters there and some Classic Firearms branded mags. So again, don't miss out on this. One of the entry methods for this giveaway to get you about 400 entries is entering a code word. And the code word for this one in honor of Gray Man Tactical is Gray, G-R-E-Y. Try typing in G-R-A-Y, you're wrong, but it might work, I don't know. So anyway, that's our current giveaway. Don't forget the EOTech holographic site that's on that guy also, because, well, you, like I said before, EOTech's just, they run, they work, and we torture tested one and it did very well. So go check that video out. I'm gonna leave it off there, guys. Let me know down in the comment section below, did I miss a 300 blackout? Rifle or pistol that should have been on this list. Let me know. Oh, and as far as my favorite one goes, I would probably say the PWS just because it offers everything that I want in a 300 blackout, but I haven't shot it. I have spent a lot of time with the PDW uh, M4 by Daniel Defense, so that one's definitely up there. Frank, if you're watching again, I'm sorry, but Daniel Defense is a very close second. It's it's. It's the piston-driven system with the adjustable gas block that just gets me on the SIG Rattler. The weight, however, is obnoxious. But with that being said, it's a pretty awesome firearm. You gotta admit, okay? So, Daniel, you are close. <laughs> I'm leaving it off there, guys. God bless y'all, and we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.